So we have a G microwave here, and this one has no power. We, uh, we check the outlet, there's power there, the plug looks good. So I took it apart, uh, found that the fuse is bad there, and this one is located right here. And it's hiding behind these little doors here. So the first thing you need to do is uh, take this guy off. There's a there's a two screws at the top here. One and two uh, lifts up. This one was a little bit trickier. This one also lifts up, but the screw for this one was hiding way back there. So through this hole, you can kind of see. It's hard to see here, but there is a the screw here and. Uh, Take that when you take that out this panel lifts up and uh, and it slides out and the screw is right here this guy it was uh, screwed into here so you can't see it from the top you got to come in through the hole that was the hardest part uh, once we got that out uh, we're just testing the fuse for continuity so we got it on the on the noise setting here when you touch these two guys, you get the beep. And uh, when I was touching here, nothing. So we know the fuse is bad. I think it says 20 amp on the fuse here. You just uh, have to pop that out, replace it, and I hope it works. If it doesn't, if it blows another fuse, you have a bad magnetron or transformer. And in that case, yeah, they're probably grounded or shorted. Uh, and then it's most likely not worth repairing. By the time you put a new one in, you parts and labor are gonna be over 300, uh, which you can get a microwave for probably 250, 280 these days. So this one was a GE, and uh, here's the model number for it. All right, we're gonna put a new one in, see if it works. Okay, so we have a box here of fuses. This one says, 20A, can't see it very well. It's a 110 volt, there you go, 20A. We'll put this guy, 20 amp, 30 amp, this is too small. 20 amp, right size, right Okay, a moment of truth coming here. Pretty thick wire here. So don't touch anything. In this microwave, uh, well, I guess high voltage parts are behind that panel there. The, there's a capacitor, uh, transformer, magnetron, they're all behind there. And uh, they do keep charge even the microwave when it's unplugged. So, But uh, yeah, I'm just going to pop the fuse in, plug it in, just to see if I get the, get the lights on. And if not, um, then we know it's bad. But if I do, then I'll try it, put it back together and run it. Oh, look at that. The light came on. Great. All right, I'm going to put it back together at least a little bit before I run it. Okay. You could tell when the fuse blew, there was a little bit of a pop there. Oh, there was? Okay. Well, we'll see. So. This, yeah, I said there was a pop before the fuse blew up, so I don't have much faith. But here, here's a glass of water. Let's see what happens. I always have to have faith. Otherwise, there's no point of trying it, right? Yeah. So, cancel that. Yep, and that was it. It blew the fuse instantly. Uh, as soon as it tried to turn on the transformer. So, no more lights. Yep, yeah, um, so, yes, we're gonna have a shorted transformer or magnetron on this one. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into the details how to fix that because it is not very safe if you don't know what you're doing so but uh, anyway we did it we did try